I just wanted to say how deeply sorry I am for snatching all your wigs. You see, I meant to be going out tonight, but I've never used Uber before. I mean, I've been trying calling, but nobody answers. There's nobody here. Why aren't they appearing? Personally, I find Christmas and the festive period very, very stressful, as I have so many presents and gifts to buy for myself. There's always this presumption when you wear makeup that you are trying to either trick a man or fool a man. I've always found this very odd, because I am a man. I am the man. I don't see what I'd possibly need to trick or fool another man for. It's very odd. But today I sadly discovered I had depleted my supply of mild wine, which is awfully tragic. So I'm guessing brandy shall have to do instead. Such a subordinate drink. Goodness, how I relate with Father Jack. Do you ever get negative comments on your films? Comment that I get quite a lot, and it's a similar theme. It's always centered around men. Comments like, you are going to be punished by God for tricking men into sleeping with you, or comments like, you're... Whatever man is going to take you home from the club is going to get a nasty shock. That one in particular, I find I've gotten that quite a lot about men taking me home from the club. I object to this highly because, first of all, I am John McLean. The only man that takes me home is the chauffeur and the only clubs I shall be going to shall be private members, secret societies or ones I own. I'm not going to be cavorting around in any small dungeon. You know, I never really understand when people say to me, what do you identify as? How do you say God without sounding arrogant? So this is what I'd look like with a tan. I'm wearing NC30. I don't look or feel like myself. I feel mortal. <laughs> You see, the thing is, I'm very fond of self-portraiture, but I'm not one of those girls that take selfies. Besides the point, I'm not a girl. So the first question for which that I have received asks, does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? No. Although, in saying that, my caviar has been reputed for alluring all the lords to the court. The next question asks, what SPF do you wear? Haute Couture. That great big shiny ogre is not getting anywhere near me. I was so unwell I thought I was going to die, so I phoned all of my friends and I told them that I was dying. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to die had I not told anybody. I think it's polite to schedule that sort of thing in. You should always let people know when you're going to die, just so that they would have enough time to process the grief. I thought it was a kind thing to do. None of them seemed to believe me, and furthermore, they accused me of being highly dramatic. So in spite of all of them, I organised a great almighty huff, which I have maintained vigorously all week, even been ill. I really apply quite a tremendous amount of highlight. I absolutely love the stuff. Some people like to be glowing for the gods. I like to glow greater than the gods. Do you only wear black? Now, this is a great misconception about me. I think a lot of people only think that I wear only black. This is simply not the case. I don't wear just black. Certainly not just black on its own. I also wear fetching black, dashing black, refined black, seamless black, Elegant black, nouveau black, light but dark black, dark black, ultra black, and pastel black. Raven black, matte black, glossy black, and satin black, pitch black. So no, I don't wear just black. I wear many a type of black. It can be awfully stressful getting ready in the morning when you have to pick between dashing black or fetching black or pitch black. There are so many options and I do struggle with it, but I get there eventually. site www.twitter.com and they have asked via Twitter, are you okay? I am very well, thank you. Thank you for asking. How do you do? I hope you are well too. As they say in the ghetto, one is on fleek. 